Hey guys, this week I'm going to talk about preparation. On the field, off the field, and how you react when you know you have one at bat or one shot in the game. So, sometimes you could be sitting on the bench, um, maybe in the DP spot or just sitting out and you know that you're going to have one or two at bats in a weekend. Okay, That's something that's kind of hard to swallow, right? So, knowing that you're only going to have a couple shots, we've got to be prepared for those, right? Okay, so you're sitting on the bench, coach says, hey, go get ready. All right, that's fine, whatever. You're not going to just stand there, right, and be like, oh, yeah, I'm ready, whatever. I'm, you know, you're going to go take some swings. You're going to go get mentally prepared, and you're going to figure out how you're going to react to these pitches, okay? It's tough because, you know, if you're going in, you know, the eighth, seventh, eighth, you know, second game, 14, 15 innings in, you're kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage because everyone has seen the pitcher, you know, two, three times, okay? They know how she's throwing. They know what she's pitching. But that doesn't mean we can't be prepared, right? So you can talk to your teammates, be like, hey, how is she throwing you? Where is she spotting that outside pitch? Is she throwing the changeup a lot? Is it a curveball? How can I react to this pitch when it comes up to it? Because I've got to be ready in whatever situation she throws me, okay? So being prepared in that situation is really hard. It's not easy. All of a sudden you start thinking, okay, what if I mess up? What if this? What if that? You spend six, seven, eight, nine, ten innings preparing for this one at bat, and it could be over in one or two pitches, right? You've got to be ready to go in and react in whatever way that pitcher demands. So, looking at the physical side of it, yeah, you've got to be stretched, you got to be ready to go, but mentally, when coach calls your number, you can't be like, oh, okay, butterflies, um, oh, I'm nervous, what if this, oh, well, mom and dad are here, my friend came to watch me. You can't think about that stuff, right? You have to focus on preparing for that at bat, how you're going to hit that outside pitch, how you're going to react to the changeup if she throws it at you, right? So preparing for that at bat is important. There's a lot of talk. When does your at bat start? Does it start when you step your foot in the box? Does it step when, when you're on deck? How do you know when it's going to start? And it really starts with that preparation, okay? You've got to put in the time, even mentally, to focus on what it is that you need to focus on and let those other things go. I mean, sometimes he calls your number and you're like, during the headlights, gears start turning, smoke's coming out of your ears, so I'm thinking so much. You're like, what if this? What if that? What if you can't? focus on those things, okay? Those distractions will get us off of the right path. Same thing in our spiritual walk. If someone comes up to you and you're, they're like, why don't you party? Why don't you cuss? Why do you do these things? Why don't you, you know, hang out with us and go out with us? And you're like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, what I do. I go to church, but it's no big deal, really. Rather than saying, because I'm a Christian and I model my life after Christ, and that's something I strive to be better every day. I want to be like Christ. I don't want to give in to these temptations. I don't want to do these things that are going to pull me away from Christ. And that's kind of an opportunity to say, you know, it's a test. Are you going to say, oh, you know, it's nothing? Or are you going to say, because Christ compels me to react in this way and to conduct myself in that manner? Okay? It's important. It really is. And so, in 1 Peter 3, verse 15, he says, But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Okay. Always be prepared to give an answer for the reason you have the hope you have, right? Always say, you know what? God is my light. God is my rock. This is the reason that I do these things because Christ saved me. Christ gave me this, this joy, right? Rather than saying, oh, you know, it's just what I do. It's, it's I don't know, kind of just blowing it off, right? It's a reason, or it's a... Um, an opportunity to share at that point with somebody why you do what you do. Same thing being on the field, like, you've got to be prepared for that moment. You can't just blow it off and say, eh, well, maybe I'll get a hit or maybe maybe things will go right. You've got to be prepared. you got to put in the time. Just like we talked about in 1 Timothy 4.8, for physical training is of some value, but godliness is for value for all, right? It's important. It's the foundation of our game. Again, in Romans 13, Verse 11, he says, And do this, understanding the present time. This hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Okay? That's talking about, you know, we don't know when Jesus is coming back. We don't know the hour or the day or whatever that's going to happen because, you know, it says in Scripture, we don't know. And to be prepared for that moment, that's, that's a lot of pressure, right? It's the same thing as going up to a bat in a, in a clutch situation. Two out, the base is loaded. You've got to get a hit. It's a lot of pressure, but knowing that Christ is walking with us 
all the time. He's always with us. That's comforting and knowing we're being led by him. We're not alone in this. So I hope this helps you guys be prepared for that at bat and for the time that you're led to witness to somebody or someone asks you what you believe that you can give an answer um, and just telling them that the hope you have comes from Christ. So hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next time.